Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Etho. We are back again with another episode of the Terra Firma Craft. Yeah, you, you know that series where Etho's never going to finish his house? I was looking at the comments. It's like it's turning into a meme already. This is what somebody said. <laughs> it's like one of the top top uh, voted comments. Uh-huh. Well, it's going to get done, okay? I tell you what. I tell you what, guys. Um, i, I got to focus on it a bit more, though. Or I'm, ne I'm never going to live it down at this point. Okay, so we were talking about maybe using these bricks for the walls instead of this wood, right? We were thinking about it. I kind of think, like, they're nice. They're very nice bricks. I like them. They go well with this wood. Uh, but I think, honestly, it kind of looks like a jail. Like, it's a little too strict, a little too formal, you know? We lose that that warm, homely feeling. Homely? Is that the right word? Homish feeling? <laughs> we get uh, with the wood, even though it's kind of an ugly color. So I think we're going to stick with the wood, and then we'll use this for the flooring is my plan. All right? It's, it, I'm making an executive decision here. We're going to stick with the ugly wood. It's the plan. Okay, so then for the flooring, I tried, like, mixing some oak in with here just so we'd have some different colors, but I don't think it really goes with it. You either go brick or you go wood. You don't mix the two, I think. So we are not going to mix the two. We'll just make the whole floor out of these uh, bricks, and then we'll put, like, carpets and stuff on top of it if we want more variation. I think is the smarter plan. Uh-huh. And guess what? We are about out of materials. <laughs> That's kind of the, the issue with Terra Ferrocraft. That's why it's taken so long. It's like I do 10 blocks and I'm out of materials. We need to like start farming things at higher volumes. Yeah, we're out of mud bricks. Okay. Uh, I wanted to try... Let's make a window on this place. So we're going to snag our chisel. We really haven't done a lot of chisel work. Uh, I think we'll go for a too high window. Uh, this should work. There we go. Okay. Let's try let's try widen this window a little bit. So that's two. Let's go maybe two more. How's that gonna be? That's a nice size for a window, right? I think so. Uh then although I guess if we do that, this isn't gonna really line up. I want to put a border around it too. Just to make it uh, stand out a bit more, make it a little bit nicer. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks a little strange, doesn't it? I, I don't think I like it. I think I failed on that one. We'll try again, we'll try again. Maybe we don't put the cross beams in. But let's just kind of... Oh yeah, that's... <laughs> I thought we could put two pieces in there. That's not going to work at all, is it? Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just keep the window a little bit more simple, actually. So we got the glass in there. We got a little bit of a border on both sides. All right, so it stands out. I put a border around the door as well. Uh-huh. And we might make improvements as we go along. Uh, but for now, that should do. And what we got to do, we got to start collecting a whole bunch of straw. And we got to get... Oh, knife broke already. Oh. We got to get straw and we got to get clay so we can make more of those mud bricks. And we should probably go feed the pigs as well. Get a couple more knives here. And we're going to try something a little bit different this time. You guys told me we can actually stack them on top of each other to dry in the sun. So we'll see if that works. I assume the ones at the bottom wouldn't get dried, but it sounds like they do. So now I'm curious. <laughs> so we got, uh, I think, 128 there, if I, if I counted right. Uh, so that should be enough to finish the floor, or at least in the kitchen part of the thing. Uh, what we got to do, we're actually like starting to wear down our tools from all that uh, clay we just grabbed. So let's get another pit kiln going on here. I prepared... Oh, that's our dirt. Yeah, over here. This is enough to make four ingots of bismuth bronze, I believe. I think that adds up to 400. And then we're going to get... Well, I guess... Uh, what should we all make here, actually? So I was thinking about a shovel for sure, right? Shovels are always good, especially when ours is almost broken. Uh, our pick is actually getting worn down, too, it looks like. So maybe we'll go for a pick. 
get that fired up. Will you make four tools here? Cool. Okay. And then for the other three things, let's just make some more of these. Uh, not, not that. There we go. Let's make more clay molds as well to fill out the rest of these spots. Cool. Um, and it looks like we're going to need more straw because this is not enough. I want to tell you guys about like my hopes and dreams for this series because I'll tell you one thing. I love Terraformer Craft. It's a great mod. It's really enjoyable, but the late game, oh, the late game, <laughs> it gets a bit brutal, uh, to be honest with you, to be frank. Uh, the late, There's not a lot to the late game in Terraformer Craft. It kind of gets stale, and then you have all this grind on top of it. Uh, so my hope is, what am I looking for here? I think I need stone. My hope is with this mod pack, because we're adding extra mods, it's going to give us some more stuff to do. It'll add more depth to the experience. But also, I'm really hoping we can automate things in Terraforma Craft so that the grindy aspect of it uh, is more enjoyable. You know, like we actually will take pleasure in, in the grindy things because we're going to automate them and they're going to become more fun. Oh, we're out of water. Okay, we got to refill that. Uh, so our very first thing of automation, my first idea here, it's simple, but it's practical. It's going to get a lot of use, hopefully. Uh, we only have two pieces of redstone at the moment, <laughs> so we can't do a lot of fancy stuff just yet. We don't, we can't make pistons or anything like that, uh, or not a whole bunch of them. But the very first thing we're going to make here is a dropper, and I was thinking about putting it above the pit kiln. Let's see how we're going to position this. We might need to move this after, but let's just uh, let's just put this over here like so. And we're going to fill this up with torches. We'll give it a button. So that whenever we need to light the pit kiln, instead of like scrambling around for my fire starter or torches that I might not have on me, we can just uh, hopefully just click the button here. And fail. <laughs> uh, it's going to need a, a block there. Probably two there. We won't use wood because that's going to burn, but you get the idea, right? So it'll be like an automatic pit kiln starter. So little little automation things like that I'm going to really enjoy in the series. And we'll probably do big stuff as well. Oh, actually, this can burn here, can it? Hmm. So we're going to have to... Oh, it's already burning. <laughs> oh, dear. We're going to have to put stuff along here to stop that from happening. Uh, we can use torches for right now. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, so check it out. It looks like these all dried, both the, the top and the bottom ones, so that's pretty cool. So we're allowed to stack them. All right, looks like our pit kiln's done here. This is uh, this is that moment where it's like, oh, did I mess up the recipe? Did I get it wrong? Bismuth bronze. Okay, it looks like we got it right. <laughs> like, if you, if you get the ratios just a little bit wrong, it's not going to work. So we can start casting our tools here. So we went for double scythe, and we have a pick and a shovel. Oh man, and the sun is setting once again here. The time is just flying, guys. It's flying. Where are we at in the days? We're on the 1st of January. Okay, so we made it through a whole year now. First year is over. We're in the, the dead middle of winter, and there is not a... A speckle of snow anywhere to be seen. <laughs> so I think we're in a hot enough area where we're not going to get any snow, but I don't think we can grow things during the winter still. It's too cold. Can we, can we check the temperature anywhere? I think you used to be able to see it in the debug screen somewhere. You see a number for it? There was some way I, I used to be able to know. Oh, biome temp 15.90... Current temperature is 4.92. Okay, so I don't know if I'm supposed to see that, <laughs> but that's uh, that's one way we, you can check it and know. So we're just a little bit above freezing right now. Oh, what's that? Cryolite. I don't know what that is. Actually, let's check it out. Uh, cryolite is... Cryolite. <laughs> what is cryolite? It's redstone! Oh, no way! 
Okay, now now we're talking here. Oh, that's so cool. We found some redstone right at our house. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, so that we can we can put the corn to a test now too. Pretty sure you're just supposed to hit the Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. The grind. There's not going to be much of a grind when we have redstone, because we're going to automate everything. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. And we're actually finding a decent amount of copper here, too. I think we'll dig up as much as we can see, and then we'll just fill in the hole with dirt. So that our house doesn't cave in, you know? Because <laughs> we're building right on top of the vein here. And when we build our basement, we'll probably get a bunch of it, too. Yeah, let's just fill it in for now, though. All right, that's about as much as we can reach there. And we can cover over top of that with our flooring. Uh, this is one of those mysteries of life. So last episode, we got a pine sapling. We planted it. It grew. This is what grew. There's no wood. Like, the leaves aren't despawning either. It's like it grew without any trunk, which is really weird. Um, hopefully we'll get a sapling back. The pine trees are really trolling me this season, though. Like, we've gotten two now. First time, we didn't get a, we didn't get a sapling off of it. It had wood, though. This one didn't have any wood. So as soon as we touched the leaves, they would all despawn. So we basically had one chance there of getting our sapling. And it didn't drop one. So, yeah. We might not ever get pine wood at this rate. Uh, you guys told me if I punch him with our hand, though, we, we're more likely to get a sapling. So we got a spruce tree as well. This is new. So I made sure to try increase our chances of getting a sapling, and we only got one off of this, even taking our time harvesting it there. So I guess let's chop this down and see what kind of wood we get. So I'm curious. Uh, on the outside, just like the bark wood doesn't look super great to me. This is going to be... Kind of like a pinkish wood, okay. Yeah, very pink. Um, kind of like a cherry cola with our orange soda thing going on here, maybe. <laughs> Could work. I looked around a little bit there for some more redstone. I couldn't find any more. Uh, just one more piece. We got three three pieces total, which was enough for 24. It says medium sample. What if we go a little bit more this way? Maybe it's more... Traces, back to copper. It must just be a really small vein of it. I'm guessing. Oh, medium cryolite over here. Maybe it's more this way. Very large sample of copper. Yeah, it seems like it's just a little bit in this hill, maybe. Uh, what I would like to do, I think we're going to expand this room maybe three or so blocks this way. So we got to start chopping away at this hill. It's going to take quite a bit of digging. And as I'm digging this out, I'm trying to do the trick where we make the smooth stone pop off like that. Because uh, if this, this needs a block to attach to, so if you break the one it's attached to, it pops off. And then we can use this for certain things, like I think that's what you need to make stone buttons, for example. Um... And by doing that, we don't have to waste our time mining that block, and it saves the durability on our pick. So it's like a nice efficiency thing, and we get a little uh, bit of a special block out of it. All right, so we got a little bit more space here now. I think uh, what we're going to do for the kitchen is just kind of make it come around like so. Up to here. Again, we'll just use the sycamore stuff for now and build this up. Probably throw in some windows in the kitchen as well. We don't really have any windows in our house besides that one there, actually. That's a tiny one. We want, like, a bigger window. Which makes me think maybe we should chop away this hill so that we can actually... Like, if we put a window here, it's just going to look at the hill, right? So maybe we should get rid of that. Maybe, maybe is an idea. Ah, ah, look at this, look at this. I mean, we're still missing the fireplace. There's no roof. It's probably not the best design in the world. But we have a kitchen now, guys. Amazing, right? So we got ourselves a fridge. We got a stove. 
We got a corn. What more could we want? Maybe some furniture, right? Let's check out what we got for furniture. So I know we have uh, bibliocraft in this. Can we get shelves? Oh, we do have these shelves. I love these shelves. And I bet you they're not that hard to make. Can we make slabs in this even? I don't think we can. Uh-oh. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, we... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's another option with the, the lumber. Okay, that's that's definitely doable. And then like this. Cool. Um, and then we'll probably put those along like the top here kind of thing. And we can put stuff on that. These are really nice shelves because you can put anything in them. And you can actually see them, you know, which I like. Think about maybe expanding this out so that we have like a pantry area here. And then we can put like chests in this space here, possibly is an idea. Um, might even build this up a bit more. If that doesn't look too weird. And let's see, furniture. What about furniture? Do we have tables? Yes, we do. Uh, they are also fairly cheap. Okay. I would love to get uh, chestnut wood or acacia. I think would look pretty cool. Oh, look at this. We can make dinner plates out of uh, fire clay. That's an interesting recipe they added. Uh, if we want to make a seat, though, it looks like we're going to need a block of wool. Which can only come from sawing down a bed, or maybe we can discover it in the world somewhere. Uh, so we're going to be standing at our table for now. And it, we have to make a compromise here, you know. We would love to get that chestnut wood. But we don't have it. Uh... We might want to look for it, though, because I think having a red roof would look cool on this place. Oh, hey, look at that. We actually got some ice in the water, so it is 1.5 degrees right now. So it probably can get cold enough to snow. If, like, all the all the stars align, you know, we might actually get snow here. Uh, but it's, it's just briefly cold enough where it can freeze, I think. Okay, so we're going to make some more bricks, I think. Do we need the... Oh, we don't need the hammer for that. Or do I have it on me? No, we don't. I think we need that to chisel out the stairs I want to do here. Okay, so bricks, if I remember right, is like so. Nope. <laughs> Try again. Oh, I always mix that up. Okay, so it's the bricks that we need five of. Oh, we can make normal bricks with these two. Okay. And then do it like that there we go so now we got a bunch of marble bricks and i think we can't make stairs out of these just on their own right yeah we have to chisel them so if you look next to our hot bar there on the right if i switch modes we can get into stair mode there we go uh, we got to have the hammer on our hot bar i believe to do this and now we can we can take out big chunks from these these stairs like so and I think this is the, the way you're supposed to make stairs. Could be wrong about that. <laughs> Maybe there is a way to craft them. Let's just double check. Maybe maybe the recipe still exists. It's just different or something. No, it looks like we have to do it this way. Hey, there's path blocks. So the idea is this staircase here is going to go underneath into like a basement area where we will probably have some machinery. Uh, maybe that's where we'll store our food. Like our pantry area will be downstairs. Uh, out of the sunlight so it preserves better and uh, probably some other stuff down there as well i'm kind of curious about these path blocks like we can make them right mm, that's not the block we need oh change modes let's try this one we got to make the smooth blocks somehow oh I'm trying to find the right uh, right mode for it no that's not that one not that one it's that one. Okay, we figured it out. <laughs> so now, after you chisel them to that, you can mine them and get these uh, beveled blocks or whatever. They're just called smooth blocks, but yeah. Uh, so then, we got three of those. I just want to see what they look like. Maybe we'll use them. But they look uh, maybe a little... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to be using those guys. They look too inorganic to me. They're almost like solar panels, right? They, they don't fit the natural looking theme of Terra Firma Craft. So we'll just stash those, but it's worth checking out. I don't remember what cartoon it was, but I think it was like Roadrunner and Coyote or something where 
they would always hide behind the tree and then they would look and then see their target and then they'd they'd be like the do 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 <laughs> as they ran to the next tree they would look then they would run when the guy wasn't looking do 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 I feel like we're doing that right now uh yeah we're we're gotta take a little break from the building now we gotta get some food these guys are a little far away from our base too so I think uh I think we're gonna take them down. Bam! Crit! Crit! Oh, oh. It jiggles. Is that for f finding fat? It doesn't say anything when we hover over it. Yeah, we're uh, we're like all out of uh, grain, protein, dairy. And our max health's only at 678. So, uh, we got to cook up some protein here and start eating it so that we're not so squishy. Very good, very good. So I guess we got about 220 ounces of meat from that pig, which is a good amount. Uh, I think we're going to try salted, too. That way it'll last longer. I think it might give more food that way, too. I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to try out our oven today, so let's fire that up. We'll throw in some hickory. And I think these are ready, right? So let's toss them in there. We probably still have to light it, though. Hmm. Okay, so let's get a fire starter going. Okay, it goes right away, though. That's cool. That's cool. So we can cook up the three things at once. We also have this fish we got from that quest. And for some reason, it hasn't decayed. It's like it doesn't it doesn't go bad, which is interesting. So we'll get that fired up as well. And they seem to cook pretty quickly in this oven. Medium rare. Medium. I think we'll stop there. All right, they're done. Nice and crispy. Let's eat the fish first. Can we eat it when it's hot? No, we can't. <laughs> oh, he w he did eat it there. <laughs> he, like, bounced in his hands a few times and then, and then chomped it down. And I think we'll actually try to make some bread here, too, because our grain is really low. Uh, dairy, I don't think we can really get any dairy stuff unless we find cows and maybe we can milk them. But I'm not sure. I think you might need to befriend them first. Uh, but for for bread, what we got to do, throw in our wheat grain into the corn. Get that little handle there. And we should get some flour out of that. Um, and then, I think I stashed our wood in here. Yeah. Grab some lumber. Make a bucket. Like so. Yeah, so that turns into wheat flour, and then we take the the bucket, we get some fresh water, then we combine that with the flour, gives us some wheat dough, and then we can fire this in the oven as well, I believe. Um, put our hickory back in, light it up again. Yeah, so that cooks it into bread. There's different types of bread depending on what type of grain you use. Are you finished? Wait, 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 wait. Is it burning? What's happening? Oh no, okay, so it turns to like that, and then... Uh, and then it says very light, light, not sweet, not sour, not salty, not bitter, not savory. We want to try to get those to turn from not to something, right? Dark. Uh, I think it's about to burn, actually. Let's take it out. <laughs> uh... I think if it's sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and savory, that's like the best food item you can get, and it gives you more food. But you take the risk of burning it if you leave it in the oven too long, trying to, trying to get one of those to change. But uh, yeah, guys, anyways, we made some pretty good progress on our, our house here. This is actually the biggest building I ever made in Terraformer Craft, I think. <laughs> and it's just the kitchen. Like, all our other houses could fit inside this thing in the previous seasons. Um, so that's kind of cool. And we got ourselves some protein and some, some bread and stuff as well, so we should be able to get our max health back up. Because it's at 665 right now, but as we start eating this food we just made, it's going to shoot back up. We should be able to get back over 1,000 uh, as we eat it here, so that's cool. But that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, as always. And let's eat some more bread before we, f we finish up here. So watch our health again. 664. We're, we're gaining 5 every time we eat this, pretty much. Oh, and we're out of space in our stomachs. Okay. 
But yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.